What's up, guys? Um, my bad. I didn't know I was recording. I'm just playing. I I I knew I was recording. Um, right. Uh, so what am I doing in this video? Um, today I'm gonna be reacting to What If. Now, a lot of us can relate to What Ifs. You know, like, what if, what if any neon never existed? What if any neon drowned? What if the earth exploded tomorrow? We'd be dead. Anyway, point of the video, the point is, is today we're going to be reacting. Re See? Oh, there we go. Always stuttering again. Today we're going to be reacting to what if. So, you know, I don't want to waste no time talking. I have a very bad habit of that. So let's just, let's just get right to it, guys. Imagine if one day you looked up into the night sky and saw Mars or Saturn where the moon was supposed to be. That would sure turn our Earth into an... Could you imagine just waking up one morning and just and seeing this? I mean, as much damage it would cause to the Earth, this would... It'd, it'd be worth it, okay? If you guys agree... Let me know. Let me know. If you guys disagree, let me know. But I think, like, you know, I would... I would love to see this. Even if I know that I'm probably going to die later on. I would love to see a view like this. I mean, because this isn't, this isn't a view you see every day, you know? The only rock you see up there is... Well, the moon. Well, two rocky planets and one gas giant. But, you guys get the point. Alien world! And not just because of the new view. How would replacing the moon change the Earth's orbit? What planet could we safely replace our moon with? And what planet would be the most disastrous? This is what if. And here's what would happen if another planet replaced our moon. We can thank the moon for predictable weather, ocean currents, and the circulation of important nutrients. The moon also helps stabilize the Earth's tilt. Take away the moon, and the Earth would go wobbling all over the place. And So not only does the moon really help with Earth, but it's also taking hits, guys. I mean, you see how many craters there are in that moon? Like, oh my gosh, the moon has taken hits for us. Respect. It would cause what I can only describe as climate change on steroids. But we wouldn't just let the moon take a day off. We would find it a replacement from another part of our... Oh, dude. Oh, my gosh. I think Saturn would probably be, like, the best view out of all the planets. Uh, Saturn just has to be the best. And... It's literally because it's got like the best perk out of all the rest of these planets. It's got these beautiful rings, guys. Gosh, it's so freaking beautiful. Our solar system. So, what would happen if we swapped Damn. our moon with a planet that is 41 times its size? Before we get to that dramatic part, let's talk about Pluto. Built custom industrial machines no. today. Pluto wouldn't look much different than our current moon. It would be smaller, though, and this wouldn't be good for Earth. That's because Pluto's gravitational pull would be weaker than that of the moon. Earth would begin wobbling all over the place, and it would result in dramatic climate change. All sorts of natural disasters ruining your day. The moon's gravitational pull is responsible for our daily ocean tides. Because Pluto is smaller than our moon, our ocean tides would become weaker. This would devastate important ecosystems. I know, all this sounds stressful, but you know what could help ease the stress? Huh. Our friends and sponsors of this episode, Caliper CBD. 
They've got a better way to consume CBD. Did you know that Caliper's powder was found to deliver CBD 30 times faster than CBD oil in the first 30 minutes? That means you don't have to wait for two hours for your CBD oil to fully absorb. With Caliper CBD, you can feel calm and less sore in just 10 minutes. And Caliper CBD is completely tasteless. You can mix it with your morning coffee. It's THC free, so it's totally safe to take before work. Add some to your protein shake when you work out to make you less sore. Hey, we know what if can be a little stressful to watch sometimes, so you might like to try some. Right now, you can try Caliper CBD risk-free for 30 days and get 20% off your first order. Just go to trycaliper.com slash what if and use the promo code what if. If you don't love it, they'll give you a full refund. That's trycaliper.com slash what if. Don't forget the promo code what if for 20% off your first order. You heard the man. Okay, where were we? Ah, Pluto covering for the moon. Well, how about a planet that is slightly larger than our moon? I think that's Mercury. I feel like Mercury would actually be like the safest. I don't know. I, I feel like it would be. Mercury would look exactly like our moon with its dark gray surface and asteroid craters. And it's only one and a half times the size. So its impact on our tidal systems and climate wouldn't be as disastrous. Out of all the planets in our solar system, Mercury would be the safest one. Could you imagine waking up just seeing that? I mean, oh gosh. I'm sure you guys know this, but I mean, apparently every year, the moon moves farther from Earth. To replace our moon. But I can't say that about Mars. Having the red planet in our night sky would be quite a sight. All the iron oxide on its surface would glow red. No more white moonlight shining through your window at night. Instead, everything would be bathed in an eerie red. That'd be pretty cool, actually. Mars's stronger gravitational pull would make tsunamis smaller, but it would make normal waves massive. And because Mars would create stronger tidal forces, Dude, look at the volcanoes from there. You see the, the, the three dots and then the bigger one on top? Olympus Mons, I think, is the biggest one. Gosh, that would be just beautiful, man. Earth's rotation would slow down. The days on Earth would become longer. I hope we'd still keep a 40-hour work week because a 16-hour work day doesn't sound that great. Another ad. Oh, Jesus. This is how fast YouTube is with Brave. Notice how there's no pre-roll ads? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, go, go. Moving on. With Venus in our night sky, we might never experience darkness. Venus is the brightest planet in our solar system. Oh, that's right. It yeah. would Makes reflect 60% more light than the moon. And mm. because it's three... Guess y'all better start replacing your curtains with thick blankets. Three and a half times the size of the moon it would force the Earth into a binary system. Earth and other. Venus would rotate each other. Yep. Huh. It would be beautiful and disastrous. Simulations of a binary system usually end up with planets colliding or merging. Next time I play Universe Sandbox, we're going to test that out. We're going to see. We're going to have two binary systems orbit each other and we're gonna see it crash. Neptune and Uranus are both ice giants and are similar in size. A huge portion of our sky would be taken up with a blue-green planet. Wow. Only Uranus dude. would also stink horribly. Wait, what? No wonder this fart smelling planet got such a name. Is that why they call it Uranus? Since both Uranus and Neptune are 14 to 15 times the size of the moon, their impact on Earth's rotation and tidal systems would be drastic. Beach houses would have to be built up on cliffs, 
far enough away from the reach of enormous waves. Now, seeing Saturn up in the night sky oh, has to be my favorite. Its pale yellow color and ring system would be stunning, but there would be some complications. Because Saturn is so large, the Earth would quickly become its moon. And if Earth orbited around Saturn, it simply wouldn't be the Earth as we know today. Finally, moving on to the big guy, Damn. Jupiter. Oh my gosh. At 41 times the size of the moon. Honestly, with Jupiter being the biggest planet, dude, that's going to cover up the entire sky. Or at least the side it's on. Because the storm, Jupiter's eye, it's apparently from my heard, it's just as big as Earth. So the eye itself would probably cover up the whole sky. And to think that there are planets out there that are way more bigger than that that make Jupiter look like a little atom. You wouldn't even be able to see the north and south poles of the gas giant. Similar to the deal with Saturn, Earth would become Jupiter's moon. Only it would get worse. Because Jupiter is so massive, the side of the Earth that's closest to Jupiter would experience a stronger gravitational pull than the opposite side. This would distort the shape of the Earth. All this pulling apart would create frequent volcanic eruptions and violent earthquakes. Jupiter's gravitational pull would tear the Earth apart. So enjoy the view while it lasts. This is not how I pictured my day. Remind me of that time we made Earth collide with Uranus. Oh, that was a stinky story. But we'll save that for another. Full Sail University is a place where creative dreamers go to learn their craft. What if? Alright, next time we do this what if, we're gonna do what if Uranus collided with Earth, guys. This stuff's interesting. I like this. Very much. But anyway, guys, thank you for guys for watching. Um, I'm gonna say this in every video, man. I hope you I hope you enjoyed this new series that me and Xenon put out. Episode three is out now. Make sure you go check it out. Or if you haven't watched any of them yet, please check those out as well. Anyway, yes, thank you guys for watching the video, and I will see you guys later. Peace.